All right, what is going on, everybody? It's uh, time for another one of my weekly vlogs. The one that was supposed to be posted or released to the public last Sunday, whatever, 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 the, the previous one, um, was the one where I was talking about how I lost focus on stuff about my channel. So that's why it's not, like, exactly weak. But, um, before, before we get started with the, with the, the topic for the day. Um, I'm just basically, we're just, ha we're just out here, sitting outside, enjoying the fact that now that the sun has gone down, the blazing hot weather is no longer a thing, so that's cool. I really appreciate that. And, you know, we're just gonna talk. But before we get started with that, I want to just make two quick things just to talk about, or just to mention. Uh, number one, if you've missed it, there is... I'm going to be working, doing, putting in the time to get my um, indie, Korean indie music series back on track. I've made two episodes of that previously, but we'll be talking about that because I've listened, been listening to this uh, EP from a duo, I think, it, whatever, called Cheese, and I'm absolutely in love with it, so I want to talk about it with you guys and stuff like that. So that should be coming out whatever day it's out. And then number two, I think that since Boys 24 is starting, I'm going to actually start a series, like a weekly series or something like that, where we just talk about the last episode and and what what happened and stuff. And I think that that might go over pretty well. I don't know. That's kind of a thing that's going to get me involved in that aspect of you know K-pop, which is it something that I'm particularly uh, super involved in at the moment. So the the topic of the day is going to be basically as the title says you know what exactly makes somebody a good fan or a bad fan who is a real fan of a group or anything versus who is not i just had to pause really quick to just like kind of see and make sure that this this arrangement here was a uh, was sounding okay as far as the audio is concerned like I said, we're talking about what exactly makes a real fan, and you know this 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 kind of topic, this discussion, I guess that I'm having with myself or with you, I suppose, um, it really kind of applies to everything. But we're gonna talk to it in the con we're gonna I'm gonna talk about it in, in the context of K-pop. So what exactly makes a makes somebody a true fan, a real fan of a K-pop K-pop group, and I think that there. Are, Depending on what, what community you're involved in or your involvement in K-pop, the, the K-pop community has a really, really bad issue with, you know, this, this topic, this discussion, this, you know, like regarding who is, who is a fan and who isn't a fan. Because the, just, just generally speaking, there is, there is a lot, there's a, there's a big problem as far as I see it. Um, based off of the way that I, I, I define what a fan is, um, where if where it's like if you don't meet these whatever these really super strict requirements are, you don't check off every box on a list, and you don't un or you don't unconditionally support, you know, you're the group that you supposedly like, that then that makes then that, then that means that you are not a true fan of the group. And, you know, I really 100% disagree with that. Um, there are, there are two reasons or two examples that recently, that have, you know, come up over the last couple of weeks that are, that I kind of want to discuss and that's in relation to this. And number one is a comment that I got on my album review for the new, or for the new CLC, CLC album review. Um, which was from someone who said that they were a an admin on a fan site. I think someone is shooting a gun at the moment. Um, but I think someone is shooting a gun. But anyway, like I said, it's uh, that's it's very distracting at the moment, obviously. <laughs> but this is where I live. People can go out in their backyards and shoot guns. Yeah, America. Anyway. Um, but they they made a comment saying that you know they were ad identifying themselves as a as an admin on a fan site and you know stuff, so they were you know not at least in that context not able to really kind of like freely express what they thought of the album which or of the you know CLC music in general because 
you know, if they're not showering the group with praise, then they're getting attacked for it because, you know, they're not a real fan. In, you know, kind of like that. And I don't, don't, I don't think that that is, you know, appropriate and that that sort of definition of, you know, or that meaning that requirement to be a real fan is, is correct. And, you know, and that, that might just be because of the environment, you know, like the people who post on these fan site forums and stuff like that are supposed to be like, or are in theory, the super fans. So they will support the group no matter what. And, you know, from their perspective, you know, if you don't unconditionally support them, if you don't unconditionally say that you like every song and you, you don't buy every album, you don't buy every single piece of, you know, official merchandise, you know, you don't support the group in that way, then that makes, then, then that means that you're not really, you know, a fan of the group, that you're not a real fan. And, you know, that's, I don't, I don't think that that's really true, obviously. You know, it's like, you don't have to like every music, I think, all, all of the songs. I think that the most, the best fans, in my opinion, are the ones who are not afraid to say that they don't like something or to criticize and say these are the things I don't like about this song but these are what I do you know the people who are who are who are willing to be like open with what they think about you know what a group is is releasing or you know a sports team or anything anything like that and the people who you know just close their ears and are like well you know X group released a new song and it's great because it's you know X group and I, this, that's you know not really wrong of course because you can't be wrong in the way that you support a group or anything like that but it's not really fair to be labeling people who don't fit your you know whatever your your label is or the way that you operate as a fan as people who are not truly fans so you know, there's that, and the second, and the second point, kind of ties into, you know, fitting labels and stuff. Is the when when Four Minute disbanded, right? A lot of there were a couple pretty um, prominent Four Minute related accounts that post news and supposed to be super hooked into what the group is doing and stuff like that. You know, very very you know well known prominent uh, accounts, which I'd seen a couple. You know, amongst their just absolute hatred for Cube and their adoration for the group, which is, that's a completely different topic for a different day, a different video. But I did see stuff laced in there where they kind of were like resenting people who were into the group or, you know, were really only paying any sort of attention to forming it because of, because they liked Hyuna herself. Like, they only cared about her. They didn't particularly care about anybody else. Saying that those people are not real fans of the group and you know I also kind of disagree with that to an extent as well because it's not like you know it's not like if you listen to a four minute song because you are only there or you watch a four minute music video because you're only there for Hyuna it doesn't mean that you're not supporting the group because you know you're getting views on the music video which people like those those milestones are you know held in high regard by all, some of the k-pop community so the people you know, if you get a million views of people, a million views from people who are only there to see Hyuna, then you're going to be super happy with that, right? A million views in an hour or however long is fantastic. And if those million people, you know, come from people who are there for a single member, why do you specifically care? I mean, and you wouldn't care. You'd just be like, cool, milestones, numbers, you know, awards, things, accolades, things that we can use to match ourselves up against a different group, you know, for bragging rights. You know, that's, that's ultimately you know, what a lot of that, that, that stuff comes down to. But again, that is kind of another topic for a different video. We can talk about that, you know, at a different point. But, you know, the, and that, that right there is kind of, kind of an example of like, you know, another example there of like, you know, you have your, you have all, all, all of your bullet points, your, your, the points on your checklist on, you know, if you're evaluating somebody for being a true fan or not. And, you know, it's like, do they watch the four minute music videos? Yes. You know, why why do they watch the four minute music videos? Is it for, you know, for the for the group? Is it for Hyuna? And if it's not if it, you know, if you don't check that four minute, if you don't check that group thing, if like you don't if you don't say I'm here for for, you know, Ji and Gaiyun and you know the rest of the members, but you do check that box and say that I am here for for Hyuna, then that means that you're not a real fan. 
And I don't, I don't I mean like I can see that and I totally completely understand and again I don't think that that's really wrong. It's, like, it's your view, right? But to be saying that other people who are you know supporting the group because of one member or specifically because they like one member or whatever for whatever reason it doesn't specifically mean that they're not a real fan and you know that's the thing it's like for the way that the way that I see it you know a real fan is anybody who has any sort of interest in a group and you know keeps track of what they're doing you know so it's like I'm I don't I don't I'm not like an obs I'm the only group that I've ever been particularly obsessed over at any point in the time that I've been in K-pop has been four minute, but that was like in the first year that I was in K-pop because that was the only group that I listened to. But it doesn't mean that I don't really like, you know, other groups. I, like I really like Vix. At the moment, I'm, you know, over the last year or so, I've grown to really like BTS. I like G-Friend. I like Vix. Did, did I already say that? I, th I don't know specifically, but you know, I like all of these groups, but I don't specifically you know buy all of their music immediately I don't I definitely couldn't tell you who any of the members are in most of these groups I couldn't certainly if I do name do no names I'm very very uncertain that I could actually pick them out in a lineup of the group like I couldn't tell you who who, who people are in some of these groups you know but you know I'm keeping track of what they're doing I'm you know kind of paying attention keeping an eye out for when they're gonna be releasing new music because I'm interested in that and you know like st stuff like that so for me like that right there at the very base is like that's kind of the thing that you need to be considered to be like a real fan of a group you know and that could be you know real you can be you can become the, a real fan of a group after one listen so you listen you first introduced and then you say i like that i'm going to continue following them that right there makes you a true fan of the group because you're interested in following them and keeping up to up to date with what their newest music is going to be you know, it's not anything about, you know, the how your, your level of support or your form of support or even the reason why you're there. It's like, do you like the music? Are you interested in the music? Then you're a fan. You're, it's just like, if you like the music, if you like the product that they sell, then that makes you a fan. That's, that's it. But that's my view, and your view might be different, and obviously other people's views are completely different from what I think. So... You know, if you if you have hopefully this video here is a bit of a discussion on what exactly you know that is. If you have any different ideas and stuff, then you know let me know down in the comments. Because um, again, like these videos here, these weekly videos are kind of supposed to be just like a kind of thing. I talk and ramble and whatever, share some thoughts. Maybe you feel the same. Maybe you don't. But we can have a discussion down in the comments below because, you know, as I said in my previous vlog, the community aspect of this is important. So this is my way with you know more intimately connecting with the community. So that's gonna be it. Before we go though, just wanna remind you, for those of you who've made it all the way to the end who are not already, if you want to see these videos a week before they're released to the rest of my YouTube audience, then you, all you have to do is be a supporter of mine on Patreon. There's a link down to my Patreon page in the, prof in the description box below. We're working our way towards an album giveaway. Once we hit a certain dollar amount, then I will be giving away one album every single month to my entire, um, to, to all the people that support me. So that's a little bit of incentive and my way to say thank you for your support. So, you know, that's going to be it for the vlog for, for this little rambling talk video. So uh, as always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.